well at least you we both on the same page. I am ready for the new adventure hello all. Muted. How we doing now? I wonder. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Happy anniversary you are us. a wonderful person. Your friendship means a lot to me. Well, there we go. Good morning, buddy. And you look very happy beautiful. anniversary, you amazing okay, papa. Happy anniversary. How you doing? How you doing? Good morning. Okay, I gotta honor the squats. I gotta say thank you to the papa. The wizard Let's go. Here we go. Me. We got ten. One, two. Noise here. Three. He Four, arrives precisely five, when he means to. Six, seven, hey, good eight, day you, Papa, nine, team. ten. Ben Cove coming in with the appropriate channel points. This is when we begin every morning, right when we mean to. Kaylin also Ooh. hitting up with the hydrate. Hoop, hoop, Papa. Hoop, hoop, indeed. And we have got Ben Cove in the house. And morning, we have got Ben Cove. Hey, good morning, Mom. How you doing? Yes, morning, it all. begins. The new Winter Willow. Good morning. Yes, the new adventure begins. So, friends, let me explain how blonde good and wonderful morning, and goofy I am. I wanted the Fellowship of the Ring. I wanted Lego Lord of the Rings. I just had it in my head. That's what I wanted. I was going to play it on PlayStation 4. And they didn't and have it in the whoop, store. So I was like, okay, they didn't have it in the store. Big whoop. I'm going to go get it. So I got on Amazon and I searched and I saw it and I just ordered it because it said PlayStation. This is a uh, PlayStation Vita, PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 4 games are this big. So that's what I did. Um, but yeah, so we're actually just going to jump right into Lego the Hobbit because that oh, they have and that's uh, available. Uh, no problem. No big deal. NBD. We're fine. It's Hello, still going to be awesome. Hooroo. <laughs> um, so if anyone has a PlayStation Vita, let me know. Um, and if, you know, if they want so this, fun. I still I still do want to play this. Um Look at look at the I mean the the little character look at little Gollum, look at him little stupid fat hobbits of, like he's just little Schmeagol, Aragorn, Legolas. Let me just look at a look at him, look at them all, look at them all are so good, so good. So yeah, a couple little changes as we continue, but here we go. We're going to start reading The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Have you ever heard of him? Maybe you have. Um, we've got Sting in the background right there. And then over here on this shelf, actually, Kira's got um, a couple of pop finals. We've got a Legolas, we've got a Gandalf, a Sauron, um, Ooh, I love a, the look of that a, a, a Bilbo. Oh, right, this is great. This is great. So um, I skimmed. I skimmed a little bit. We're gonna read much less each time because uh, it's a little bit of a, a denser, a denser read, as they say. Um, but we will get to it. Um, this is so good. I mean, I, the, the, the maps, I'm going to read like the forward and like three pages, honestly, is all we're going to get. <clears throat> the Hobbit. Sweet little drawings. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous leather bound book. The Hobbit or There and Back Again, J.R.R. Tolkien. All right. List of illustrations. Note on the text. Uh... Thor's map, the trolls. Oh, there's there's illustrations on each How's of these pages. Going? So we'll we'll get we'll get through to all of those. Conductor Wolf, it's going well. It is going very well. Excited to start this Monday off. I think we're gonna have a, a nice a nice week ahead of us here. Um, and excited to to get going with this. And uh, of course also, uh, the the Lego Lego Hobbit. I'm I'm excited. I think the, the it's a newer game. So you know. I think the technology on these Lego games keeps getting better, you know, so you got that going for us. <clears throat> Plus, I mean, I get to hang out with all of you and begin this this week, so here we go. <clears throat> uh, 
The Hobbit was uh, the note on the text. Hobbit was first published in September 1937. Its 1951 second edition, fifth impression, contains a significantly revised portion of Chapter Five, Riddles in the Dark. So, <clears throat> this is a story of long ago. At that time, the languages and letters were quite different from ours today. English is used to represent the languages, but two points may be noted. One, in English, the only correct plural of dwarf is dwarfs, and the ad adjective is dwarfish. In this story, dwarves and dwarvish are used, but only when speaking of the ancient people to whom Thorin Oakenshield and his companions belonged. Two, orc is not an English word. It occurs in one or two places, but is usually translated goblin or hobgoblin for the larger kinds. Orc is the hobbit's form of the name given at that time to these creatures. It is not connected at all with our orc orc applied to sea animals or dolphin kind. <clears throat> Runes were old letters originally used for cutting or scratching in wood, stone, or metal, and so were thin and angular. At the time of this tale, only the dwarves made regular use of these, especially for private or secret records. Their runes are in this book represented by English runes, which are known to few people. If the runes on Thor's map are compared with the transcription into modern letters on pages 20 and 50, you can translate it. The alphabet adapted to modern English can be discovered, and the above runic tile also reads. So you can also, if you go through, you can translate this uh, sentence in this particular uh, story. Oh, so well done. So well done. I'm not going to read the rest of that because it's, uh, I'm going to go with, say, uh, unnecessary for you all to, to get that bit. So now, that was just a little bit of the foreword, and um, I will go ahead and uh, have a sipsy of my magic potion. I hope everybody else is hydrating, too. As we will, get, we will begin with Chapter 1, An Unexpected Party. In a hole in the ground there lived a hobbit, not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms and an oozy smell, nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing in it to sit down on or to eat. It was a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. It had a perfectly round door like a porthole, painted green, with a shiny yellow brass knob in the exact middle. The door opened onto a tube-shaped like hall, a uh, tube-shaped hall like a tunnel, a very comfortable tunnel without smoke, with paneled walls and floors tiled and carpeted, provided with polished chairs and lots and lots of pegs for hats and coats. The Hobbit was fond of visitors. The tunnel wound on and on, going fairly but not quite straight into the side of the hill, the hill, as all the people for many miles round called it and many little round doors opened out of it, first on one side and then on another. No going upstairs for the hobbit. Bedrooms, bathrooms, cellars, pantries, lots of these, wardrobes. He had whole rooms devoted to clothes. Uh, da -da -da, clothes, kitchens, dining rooms, all were on the same floor, and indeed on the same passage. The best rooms were all on the left-hand side, going in, for these were the only ones to have windows, deep-set round windows looking over his garden and meadows beyond sloping down to the river. This hobbit was a very well-to-do hobbit, and his name was Baggins. The Bagginses had lived in the neighborhood of The Hill for time out of mind, and people considered them very respectable not only because most of them were rich, but also because they never had any adventures or did anything unexpected. You could tell what a Baggins would say on any question without the bother of asking him. This is a story of how a Baggins had an adventure and found himself doing and saying things altogether unexpected. He may have lost the neighbor's respect, but he gained, well... You will see whether he gained anything in the end. <clears throat> the mother of our particular hobbit. Uh, what is a hobbit? I suppose hobbits need some description nowadays, since they have become rare and shy of the big people, as they call us. They are, or were, a, a little people. Oh, we have an Alistair wine. Hold on one moment. Let me, uh, 
Let me, hey, come here, come here. You're going to say hi to the people, and then we're going we're gonna to talk about hobbits. Hi, hi, good morning, good morning, hi. We have, a, we have an Alistair sighting. Oh, I added a very, I added two, two expensive channel points things uh, at the very bottom. And some of you who've been watching for a while will easily be able to afford those, I'm sure. Um, but you can see and laugh at them. Um, if, if you ever want to, uh, to interrupt the game, you, you now have power to do such things. Yes. House Panther. House Panther, indeed. House Panther, indeed. I love him. Kind of a butthead this morning, but it's okay. <clears throat> ah, they are, or, or were, a little people about half our height and smaller, and smaller than the bearded dwarves. Hobbits have no beards. There is little or no magic about them except the ordinary, everyday sort, which helps them to disappear quietly and quickly when large, stupid folk like you and me come blundering along, making a noise like elephants which they can hear a mile off. They are inclined to be fat in the stomach. They dress in bright colors, chiefly green and yellow, wear no shoes because their feet grow natural leathery soles and thick, warm brown hair like the stuff on their heads, which is curly, have long, clever brown fingers, good-natured faces, and laugh, deep, fruity laughs, especially after dinner, which they have twice a day when they can get it. Now, you know enough to go on with. <clears throat> As I was saying, the mother of this hobbit, of Bilbo Baggins, that is, was the famous Belladonna Took, one of the three remarkable daughters of the Old Took, head of the hobbits who lived across the water, the small river that ran at the foot of the hill. It was often said in other families that long ago one of the Took ancestors must have taken a fairy wife. That was, of course, absurd. But certainly there was still something not entirely hobbit-like about them. And once in a while, members of the Took clan would go and have adventures. They discreetly disappeared, and the family hushed it up. But the fact remained that the Tooks were not as respectable as the Bagginses, though they were undoubtedly richer. Fool of a took. Not that Belladonna Took ever had any adventures after she became Mrs. Bungo Baggins. Bungo, that was Bilbo's father, built the most luxurious hobbit hole for her, fool of a took. <laughs> and, and partly with her money, that was to be found... Uh, okay. Bungo, that was Bilbo's father, built the most luxurious hobbit hole for her, and partly with her money, that was to be found either under the hill or over the hill or across the water, and there they remained to the end of their days. Still, it is probable that Bilbo, her only son, although he looked and behaved exactly like a second edition of his solid and comfortable father, got something a bit queer in his makeup from the took side, something that only waited for a chance to come out. The chance never arrived until Bilbo Baggins was grown up, being about 50 years old or so, and living in the beautiful hobbit hole built by his father, which I have just described for you, until he had, in fact, apparently settled down immovably. By some curious chance, one morning, long ago, in the quiet of the world, when there was, was less noise and more green, and the hobbits were still numerous and prosperous, and Bilbo Baggins was standing at his door after breakfast, smoking an enormous long wooden pipe that reached nearly down to his woolly toes, neatly brushed, Gandalf came by. A wizard Gandalf? is never late. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> Perfect. Gandalf, if you had if you had heard only a quarter of what I had heard about him, and I have heard only very little of all there is to hear, you would be prepared for any sort of remarkable tale. Tales and adventures sprouted up all over the place wherever he went in the most extraordinary fashion. He had not been down that way under the hill for ages and ages, not since his friend the old duke had died, in fact, and the hobbits had almost forgotten what he looked like. He had been away over the hill and across the water on business of his own since they were all small hobbit boys and hobbit girls. All that the unsuspecting Bilbo saw that morning was an old man with a staff. He had a tall pointed blue hat, a long gray cloak, a silver scarf over which his long white beard hung down below his waist, and immense 
black boots. Good morning, said Bilbo, and he meant it. The sun was shining and the grass was very green. But Gandalf looked at him from under long, bushy eyebrows that stuck out further from the brim, stuck out further than the brim of his shady hat. What do you mean? He said. Do you wish me a good? Do you wish me a good morning, or mean that it is a good morning whether I want it or not, or that you feel good this morning, or that it is a morning to be good on? All of them at once," said Bilbo, "and a very fine morning for a pipe of tobacco out of doors into the bargain. If you have a pipe about you, sit down and have a fill of mine. There's no hurry; we have all the day before us." Then Bilbo sat down on a seat by his door, crossed his legs, and blew out a beautiful gray ring of smoke that sailed up into the air without breaking and floated away over the hill. Very pretty," said Gandalf. But I have no time to blow smoke rings this morning. I am looking for someone to share in an adventure that I am arranging. It's very difficult to find anyone. I should think so in these parts. We are plain, quiet folk and have no use for adventures. Nasty, disturbing, uncomfortable things make you late for dinner. <laughs> I can't think what anybody sees in them. And our Mister Baggins and stuck one thumb. At, uh, uh, Said our Mister Baggins and stuck one thumb behind his braces and blew out another even bigger smoke ring. Then he took out his morning letters and began to read, pretending to take no more notice of the old man. He had decided he was not quite his sort, and he wanted him to go away. But the old man did not move. He stood leaning on his stick and gazing at the Hobbit without saying anything till Bilbo got quite uncomfortable and even a little cross. Good morning. He said at last, "We don't want any adventures here. Thank you. You might try over the hill or across the water." By this, he meant that the conversation was at an end. "What a lot of things you do use good morning for," said Gandalf. "Now you mean that you want to get rid of me, and that it won't be good till I move off." "Not at all. Not at all, my dear sir. Let me see. I don't. I don't think. I don't think I know your name." "Yes, yes, my dear sir, and I." Do know your name, Mister Bilbo Baggins, and you do know mine, my name. Though you don't remember that I belong to it, I am Gandalf, and Gandalf means me. To think that I should have lived to see to be good morning by Belladonna Took's son, as if I was selling buttons at the door. Gandalf, Gandalf, good gracious me! Not not the wandering wizard that gave old Took a pair of magical. Diamond studs that fastened themselves and never came undone till ordered. No, no, not not the fellow who used to tell such wonderful tales at parties about dragons and goblins and giants and the the rescues of princesses and unexpected luck of luck of widows' sons. Not the man that used to make such particularly excellent fireworks. I remember those. Old Took used to have them on Midsummer's Eve. Splendid. They used to go up like great lilies and snapdragons and lab lab laburnums, ooh, laburnums of fire, and hang in the twilight all evening. You will notice he already. You will notice already that Mister Baggins was not quite so crossy as he liked to believe. Also, that he was very fond of flowers. Dear me, he went on. Not the Gandalf who was responsible for so many quiet lads and lasses going off into the blue for mad adventures. Anything from climbing trees to visiting elves, or sailing in ships sailing to other shores. Bless me, life used to be quite inter. I mean, you used to upset things badly in these parts once upon a time. I beg your pardon, but I had no idea you were still in business. Where else should I be? Said the wizard. All the same, I am pleased to find you remember something about me. You seem to remember my fireworks kindly, at any rate, <clears throat> and that is not without hope. Indeed, for your old grandfather Took's sake, and for the sake of poor Belladonna, I will give you what you asked for. I beg your pardon. I haven't asked for anything. Yes, you have. Twice now. My pardon. I give it you. In fact, I will go so far as to send you on this adventure. Very amusing for me. Very good for you. And profitable too, very likely, if you ever get over it. 
Sorry, I don't want any adventures. Thank you. Not today. Good morning. But please come to tea any time you like. Why not tomorrow? Come tomorrow. Goodbye. With that, the hobbit turned and scuttled inside his round green door and shut it as quickly as he dared, not to seem rude. Wizards, after all, are wizards. What on earth did I ask him to tea for? He said to himself as he went to the pantry. He had only just had breakfast, but he thought a cake or two and a drink of something would do him good after his fright. And we will call it there. On our first adventure of The Hobbit, we have TTV Zook. Hello, thanks for popping in. How you doing? Let me pull up the text-to-speech, get that back going, get the sound back on, because we are ready to jump over to our Lego Harry Potter adventure. Oh, Kaylin's going to kick it into a sing mode, sing mode. Okay, hold on. Oh, good morning. All right, wait, I got I to gotta get you guys the sound. I think I muted that. Uh, 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 ah, there we go. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Just want to make sure, what do we do after we read? Whoo, we got to hydrate a little bit. Got to hydrate. So I can already tell. Oh, we, man, starting it off with sing mode. Oh, starting it off on a Monday with a sing mode, sing mode. I'm going to give my reflections and thoughts while we're doing sing mode, just so we can, uh, thank you. Thank you, Winter Willow. While well, I pull this, let's get Oh, needed that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And... Yo, TTV Zook, finding the good channel point redemptions. Let me tell you, I was, I was pleased when I saw that one. It's not quite exactly what I want. Um, I'm going to have to go through and do a couple customs. Um, but there's a lot of sound clips available from Lord of the Rings. Obviously, obviously. Come on now, that makes sense. That makes perfect Tell me sense. Where is Gandalf? For I much desire to speak with him. I know. See, I got to get that clip in there. There's some. There's some. Some for sure's. Okay. Uh, I think I gotta just do this. 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 Read it from a file. Always hydrate before you sing. Crucial. Always. Always. Okay. Okay. Nope, that didn't do anything I wanted. <laughs> Copy, that's what I want. Yep. There we go. And then that. Yes, hydrate before song. Yep. Hydrating before song. I'm I'm str I'm struggle busting with the uh with getting the timer going. Oh, and I don't even know. I'm all over the place. We're just going to have to... Uh... Oh, okay. All right. We're going to get the timer going because uh, otherwise we're not going to get into the game. But I want to have my reflections on what I think so far. So we got five minutes. I'm going to get going with it now. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I'm so excited to begin our journey. But more excited for the adventure because Bilbo doesn't want to go on an adventure and I definitely want to go on an adventure with you and you and you and you and Kaylin and Son and Joe Von Bulkern and my mom and Nana, TTV Zook, Papa Bless and Willow Wolf going on adventure with my friends, yeah. So a sword, break the bathroom, break law. Not really, I'll go actually go grab that sword off the wall and come and show it to you all. I'll take it to the camera and show you the edge which I short sharpened like a fool in the garage when I was a kid. I shouldn't have done that. Fortunately, it didn't bite me in the butt. Only cut my finger like once or twice. It's okay, it's okay now. But I can tell my friends the reading will be a little bit different for me because Tolkien writes slowly and the character voices will be lengthy. I'll need to be speaking for long periods of time. I can't have any voices, any character voices that are too particularly difficult for me to complete. 
all my points. Well, Caitlin, I, 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 I thank you. I thank you for redeeming your points. We all enjoy a little morning song, a little morning music to begin our week. But I see I'm not even halfway through. Can't quite get the song to show, get the clock to show. There it is. I'm not quite halfway through the song. Thank you, Joe. You make me feel so good with your compliments, JVB. I was thinking about cabaret the other day my son was like i hear sick caitlin's son hello good morning from chicago good morning i hope your day is starting well i hope you're not putting your mom through what they call H E double hockey stick. Keeping it family friendly. Keeping it family safe. Keeping it family friendly on our Monday adventure. Our Monday journey. I don't know if I want to wait another minute and 30. But I don't want to stop the sing. I don't want to oh, interrupt yeah, the sing mode with the beginning of the game. Because I know when I start the game, I'm going to want to listen to the beginning of the game, which means I'm not going to be singing. And then you won't be getting the I value you for your points. All the songs when you get to them. Oh, you're right, Ben Cove. You you're right. You're long. right. Kaylin is giving me, I'll go ahead. So we now can kick over to the live screen. Thank you, Kaylin. Thank you, friends. Let me turn the music down and turn the game source on. We begin, my friends. My gentle friend, points. a buyout for the whole time. It was really funny on Friday when we had the sing mode. Vicky Roo, Vicky Roo, good morning to you. Ten seconds left on the sing mode today. But we'll make sure to say, hey, Vicky Roo, good morning to you. And the sing mode is done. Hey, hey. Yo, good morning, Kaylin. Thank you. And yes, Vicky Roo, you do see a VIP. All right, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. So I can. Oh no! Oh, yeah, we're, we're gonna get flagged. Hey, the music is gonna get flagged. It's gonna be. Good. It's so good. It's so good. I know. I know. I know. I just. I. I couldn't. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. It's so good. Oh, it's so good, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to turn it down. I'm gonna have to yeah, turn so it down. All right, there it is. We'll turn the music off right away. So yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Oh, that music holds so many memories. So for me. much. I, friends, ben. yo, friends, friends, Haru, friends, Happy friends. Monday. Yeah, my headphone microphone isn't the one that's playing, which is kind of odd. I, I think it's just the the laptop. How's my audio? It's probably a little t tingy. Um, I used to, I had the Fellowship of the Ring soundtrack on CD as soon as that, that came out, and I used to... The only reason to, I made it through college was that music. Dude, I used to put in 
seventh, sixth or seventh Every time grade, I studied. eighth grade, high school, I would put the Discman right next to my bed, sleep with headphones. I remember I used my to, granddad taking me to the cinema to see The Lord of the Rings. I used to wake Rings. up with my, just tangled in headphones, and I would play The, CDs the are Hobbiton still in my car, just huh? over and over. Oh, yeah, I, I would put track, what was it, track three? Track three is Welcome to Hobbiton, because track one is Galadriel's um i was taken back so comforting music. oh yeah oh it's it is howard shore you want to talk about a home run so yeah just just dynamite just ridiculous um okay so since this is a since this is a new adventure i'm gonna actually start like um i'm gonna do like a, a hard edit here i'm gonna you're gonna hear me we're gonna do a take we're gonna do like an actual take that i can use um as i as i upload these onto onto youtube so um we're gonna we're gonna try to do that a little better with the hobbit than we did with harry potter you know get you know one percent better point one percent better every time that's the goal that's all we gotta be is point one percent better let's turn the subtitles on um safe zone settings i don't i don't i don't know what that is all right it's so good all right, friends. So here we go. Hi, friends. I'm Stick Knockwell here, and we are beginning our Lego The Hobbit adventure, and you are all invited to join me here. Let us begin a Party new game. Money, please. Let's do this. My Let's money. do this. Let's kick it off. Figure knows we're kicking it off. Morning all. Boom, boom, boom. Mrs. Dub, good morning. Here we go. We begin our new adventure. Okay. Okay, it's so good. I'm gonna turn our background music up just a bit. Good morning, Mr. Detective. Okay, my dear Frodo. <gasps> morning, Joe. Adventures. Just in time. It's so like, it's such a balance. I gotta watch the sound. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down. It began long ago in a land far to the east because the cutscenes have the music. There was the city of Dale. Peaceful and prosperous. But this mightiest of the dwarf lords. Okay. His line lay secure in the lives of his son and grandson. All would pay homage to him, even the great elven king, Thrandil. Thrandil. Ooh, elven archery equipment. That is a win. Surian home so sad, we lost him. I know. Ah, Frodo, Erebor. Oh, man. So many incredible actors in these movies. Noble dwarf, my liege, our king asked you to go oversee today's mining operation. <laughs> oh, yes. Oversee the mining operation, you say. <laughs> okay. Now. And away we go. Okay. Yes. Oh, Lego. Look at this. Look at this. Crush it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Looks like I'm going to need some some special. Can't get into those yet. Okay. Casting was epic. Oh, yeah. Casting was absolutely incredible for this. I mean, and I know this is The Hobbit, which... I mean, at that point, they they were allowed to do that because the the whole landscape of cinema and making blockbuster movies had changed because of the original Lord of the Rings, right? Do be do be do. We get some audio. I'm getting no Lego. We're getting no Lego audio. Hold on, I'm gonna do a quick, quick little click, and then it takes about 10, 15 seconds, maybe. We'll see if it actually does the thing. I hope it does. Mm-hmm. I did it. I heard it. It did it. That's what we're talking about. Sorry. Sorry about that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay.
okay. Oh my gosh, can you see? You can't even see the meter. Ooh, it's progressing slowly. I will say what I have discovered, friends, is, is talkative today. Alistair is very talkative. It's because I've got him locked in here, but if I let him out here, he'll go out in the hallway, and then he'll stand in front of the bedroom door and start yelling at Kira, and then he'll want to wake her up. And it's like, I don't know what you're doing, buddy, because uh, mom gets to sleep. You, you, you've uh, somehow convinced the world you're allowed to wake dad up at five in the morning, but uh, no, no, not mom. Mom's got, mom's got sleeping to do, because dad can't get back to sleep. Mom can. She's got that talent. She's got that skill. I know I'm not on sing mode anymore, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. I think I have been to the place where the Loger orchestral stuff was recorded. Oh, you have? Get out of town, Mrs. Dub. I'm gonna turn y'all down a little bit. Okay. Um, pop, 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 pop. Oh, man, look at this. All these years of my ancestors' work, just chop, chop, chippity, chop down. With a sword, nonetheless. I am such a BA. Hey, all right, square. Hold circle to build objects from hopping Lego pieces. Okay, so that's the same mechanic as Harry Potter, and I buy it here because I am a I am a dwarf, and I am a, I am I am I'm a, a builder. I, we can work with stone and, and bits. Oh, you're from New London? Oh yeah, no. If you're if you're yeah near London, near London, you get to go to HP Studios. Oh, that's so cool! I want to go. Okay, I need. I need an axe. Ow! So don't hit that. Jump here, attack this. No. Okay, what is this? Circle, circle, hold circle. Press and hold triangle to bring up the game wheel. That's what I was doing wrong. I was charging up a spin attack. Okay, so square. Oh, you do! Both of you! This is my jealous face! I'm jealous! Oh, man, that's sweet. Okay, triangle. <gasps> Armored Dwarf Guard. Thorin Young. Thrain. Loot. And backpack. I'm going to the backpack. Okay. Dwarf Axe. Can smash cracked Lego plates. Okay. That's not what I needed. I need a guard? No, no, wait, wait. Do I need to come close to this dude? Who? I need to be the old man. Ah, okay. Now I'm the old man. Now I'm one-eyed, one-eyed Thrain. Old oh, one-eyed Thrain here. <laughs> Oh, cool. Okay, sweet. I, the 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 aesthetic. Uh, I want to go. I want to go see this. My, I'm jealous. I'm so jealous of you. I mean, you guys. That was a good choice to uh, to 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 be 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 uh, be living near there. Uh, whether you you made that choice or that choice was made for you, it's a good choice. <gasps> Put these candles out. Fire is dangerous underground. Could start underground fires. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that? That, that, Cause that would make lava. Oh yeah, we just wreck our home. Yes. Dang, he is beastly. Thrain is not messing around. Yes. Okay. Oh, a charge up attack. Oh, look at that. Did y'all see that? Look at this. Okay. He smashes the ground and sit. He's got a bit of a ranged attack to it. So leaps. Ah, all right. All right, Thrain. All right. I see you. All right. He's got some moves. I still think I like Thorin more, though. Falcon Shield. Yeah. You've got Griffith robes. That's one of the things now that I like am trying to be a, be a better adult. Uh, I, I, I like those uh, I like those TikToks and videos and, and things that people make where they're like, see, the thing is, uh, I'm now just a kid with adult money, and so I can buy uh, I can buy all those things I want. <laughs> we'll get to my adult money. I would like to get to that. Now. Okay, so what's your deal? 
I can't do anything to that. The most dangerous game. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna need, you see that super bright shape, that outline? My guess is I'm gonna need a hammer that looks like that. Or some, something special, because I, I just don't think I'm, yeah, buddy, I, I know, I know. It's 745 here in Chicago time, in CST, Chicago standard. And uh, yeah, I know, I know. Waking up is hard to do, and mom's not gonna do it for you. So, back off. Okay, look at the sh look at the size of our kingdom. Come on now, come on. Let's go, let's go, dwarves. <gasps> okay. What? You're not letting me in? On what grounds? Whose authority are you closing me out of here with? I don't believe this. This seems like shenanigans. Ah, aha! We have something useful here. And also here, maybe. Circle. Circle. Now what is, what is this? Aha. Press circle to pick up the rock and then square to aim. Okay. Okay, pick you up. Hold square. Aiming. Ah, okay, so we've got to hit this. Are we about to... Are we about to knock this statue over onto our own men? Like, are we about to, like, knock them... Yo, collect a fawn fan! Boom! Hey! Oh my gosh. Yo, you're on LEGO Batman 3? Welcome in! We haven't, we haven't gotten to LEGO Batman yet, but we are doing our morning show. That's what we've got Monday through Friday. I will be here every morning playing LEGO games for now until the foreseeable future. Um, welcome in! Welcome back! Welcome to life! How are you doing? How is, how is things? How's LEGO Batman going? Uh, Wait! Who directed Tusk? Okay, triangle. Wait, triangle? Oh, that's just switch. Oh, wait, hit. This dude. Wham! Oh, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith has done so much in his career and is at, in, and is at a place in his career where Kevin Smith does what Kevin Smith wants to do. So here's my bet. Um, when Kevin Smith was asked about Lego Batman, that was a project that sounded cool and fun to him and worth his time. And that is my thought. I bet Kevin Smith did Lego Batman because he wanted to. Not for the money. It was probably good money for him. Um, let's not joke around about that. But... Oh, what? I didn't actually mean to to do that Thorin can you can you make this jump wait a minute what is happening grab that no circle no how did I what um, yeah so that would be my guess is that Kevin Smith was like yeah I want to do that Ooh, I think that's cool. So, like, did they get... Well, we haven't had a good Riddler. I have. I, I, I have, um... I have, I have a little, little character known as Superman. Have you heard of him? Oh! Um, Batman and Superman? I've heard, I've heard of Batman v Superman. But Batman and Superman? I don't know if I've heard of that. What are y'all doing here? Is it okay if I just break all this stuff you're looking at and working on? How rude! Hey, speaking of rude, how about you come hang out in my lap and stop yelling? I haven't heard of Composite Superman. Now you're getting to a realm of things I have not heard of. Composite Superman? Like what kind of composite? Okay. Oh, Booperman! Or you could call it Batman or Superman. That would work too if you wanted to combine their names. You could do that. Otherwise, it could. It, I mean, Man Man, it, Man Man, Man Man, Booperman. Um. 
Super Bat, Super Bat, Bat Cow, Bat Pig, Spider Pig. Um, that's dangerous. That's dangerous, Superman. Okay, let's to put things in perspective. Bruce Wayne is so smart that he is like a match for Superman. That's how. That's how smart we think of Bruce Wayne. Let's ref let's let's rephrase this. Let's rephrase this. Superman is so stupid that a human with no superpowers is a legitimate matchup for him. That's how that's how we should be phrasing things. Superman is so dumb that even with literally no power cap, he he is he is uh, beatable by a mortal uh, billionaire. Hi, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Stupid fat oh, Winter is redeeming the cat break. Well, we're doing that. We're gonna, we're, we're cat breaking. We're cat breaking hard right now. So we're gonna, we'll, we'll even click over to the just chatting screen because that's the full cat break. That's what you get. If you redeem, if you redeem cat points, you get full cat break. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, but can we kid? I know. Okay. All right. All right. If we're we're uh, we're keeping things PG, we're uh, we're keeping it family appropriate on the on the on the stream. But yeah, Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill, buddy, Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill. That man is a specimen of a human being. That that a dude like that exists is crazy. You were right, Winter. You you were right. He he needed. <laughs> you knew best. I was I was so focused on on playing the game and all of you that I was neglecting the fact that this little man was like in need of all the attention in the world nonstop. That's right, buddy. And Gilbert Gottfried. Oh, I love Gilbert Gottfried. I was I'm a I'm a huge Aladdin fan. Aladdin is um, like top 2, top 3 Disney movies for me, for sure. And Gilbert Gottfried is, yes, of course. All right, buddy. All right. Are you done? Maybe you got a little bit of attention. You were able to shed all the fur in the world on me. We're going to call that love. Shedding love. Okay. He's wandered back over to the door. Okay. All right. I think we're going to we're gonna be able to go here. Okay. Maybe. I got you fur baby. Winter's got you. Aladdin is one of the very few Disney movies that has a remake that Bill and Tea suck balls. <laughs> um, are you talking about the live action? You know, it's that's an interesting one, Joe, isn't it? To think about because, like, I think about the networks, or I think about innuendo. Um. And I would say for network, I think like obviously that's not gonna fly. Um, but when I think about it, I mean, come on, man, that's that's like a, a thing that could be said by a kid. It shouldn't be, but there's way worse things on the internet. I'll call that one a, a passable, a passable offense. <laughs> um, hey, hey, collect a phone, just so you know, man. Um, I try. I recognize it as a fruitless effort. It was foolish of me to try. And actually, I realize if I say things, it'll probably be worse. But I try to keep it family friendly um, for just the Lego streams. I stream Alien Isolation. I stream other games. Let, let it rain down. But yes, I agree. I am a fool of a took for thinking that I will be able to to get away with this. That's see, that's fine. That's what I've heard too. Okay, it's not fine that it sucks hard. I wish that didn't didn't do that hard. Ah, you must be with hammer to break boxes. Oh, okay. Maybe you must be put this together to break boxes. Hold circle. Build Lego. What did I build? Okay. Um, yeah, it is too bad. I think it became very, um, apparent to everyone that those Disney live action remakes were just such a cash grab. No one was buying what they were selling. I, I, I think the box office reflected that very well. And the free market did a good job of telling Disney, like, yeah, we see what you're doing. 
Um, enough people uh, wanted to see those and they knew they were going to make money, but it's okay. It's okay. Life is about realizations. Don't worry. I am still realizing a lot of things and will be realizing things for the rest of my life. The second you stop realizing things and think you know everything, that's when you're in trouble. What? In the remake, they break a camel's back? That's so graphic and brutal. And they do it with straw. Like torture? Is it like is it like humans torturing camels? Is that how we do it? Like similar like like we drop drip water? That's crazy that they would break a camel's back with straw in the live action. I can't believe they made that artistic choice. Frozen can leave. Oh, there's a lot going on here. I'm smashing things. Dean Kane! Yo, Dean Kane hosted host of um uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not, Dean Kane. Is that who you're talking about? Okay, let's start smashing stuff. We, we need bits, so we're just gonna start smashing stuff. Oh. Like, why can't I hear anything? Oh, my volume. Yeah, I, 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 when I saw they cast Seth Rogen, I was like, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm over it. Over it. Yeah, winter, not. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, what? Uh, I don't know. I I'm a sucker for the Mulan cartoon animation. So wait, did I harvest that wood? How did I? How am I picking up? So I did you just walk over it? Yes, the TV show. Yeah, I remember. Uh, Winter. I used to watch that in bed in the mornings on Saturday on TBS or TNT. Alright, thank you, because I was like, I really was uh, wanting it to be good, but then I, I heard what they were doing with it, and yeah, I, I expected it to be bad, and then I heard it was bad, and I was not disappointed in myself, I was actually like proud, I was like, way to go Nick, you trusted yourself and did the thing where you think, and you critically, critically reason, and it worked out okay, good on you. Look at this, I'm loving the layout, look at this. The mines, man, they got, the dwarves just have lava access at the ready. Let's go. Why? Just in case. Just in case what? In that, in that order? In that order? That's a good choice. Um, Heath Ledger's Joker was just so good. It was, it was, it was believably real um, for modern society. I think the Joker is a character, like, for, uh, for the life of the Joker, I think as a character, um, the longer the Joker's been around, more and more people have identified a world in which they can empathize and see from the Joker's the Joker's point of view. Um, whether that is a good thing or a bad thing is is yet to be seen. But also artistically. That's terrible. That sounds like a movie. Uh, that was made today <laughs> or a movie that's been made yeah crushing things okay we've got green crystals we've got blue crystals i've got a headache why why wait what what whoa what is this wait why do i get a headache when i come over here and i can't i can't attack these targets okay so i need a long distance attack spinny move Headache, headache. Okay, so I need a character who can throw stuff or an archer or something like that. Bam, wham, 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 wham. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I... <sighs> Who's sleeping? Who's sleeping over here? He thought your ass joker was something special. They did a really cool thing. Okay, so murdering the sleeping um, friend is not the task. Got it, fine, cool, whatever. Don't tell me how to live my life. An anvil! It is the, the actor, the director, for sure. 
You know, I would say it's a healthy relationship, but you're right, it is not a healthy relationship. Press zero to enter small Lego hatches. Press circle to enter little Lego hatches, you say? Yeah, me too. Oh, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> That's adorable! Um, tap circle to turn cranks. Okay, wait, do we don't need our key? We don't need a we don't need our we don't need our key anymore? No! I feel like we're gonna have to find a treasure key at some point in this game. There's no way we're not. Okay. Um Oh, okay, yep. We've made gold! We just smithed gold? Uh walk in here, grabbing gold. Yes! Yo, making my way downtown, getting cash, spend it fast, and I'm homebound. All right. What do we do here? Useful items that can be made at the anvil. Oh, with Lego loot. Okay. So, here we go. Yo, it's our shop. It's our upgrade shop. Okay, spend Lego loot you have collected to create something new. Um, required loot. Okay. Uh, okay. Um... Okay, so if I want this, I have none of them. A carrot. I can make a carrot. I can make a carrot from anything. I am amazing. Um, okay, I think, did we make our way around? Okay, yes. I have gold. I have five gold. With that gold, I just threw the gold into the fire. What if I want to cancel that? Can I have my gold back? No. I just threw those things in the fire too. Well, let's just throw everything in the fire, shall we? Five, four. Oh my, 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 my. Alistair, go. What are you gonna do? Let's see what happens. If he goes out in the hall and starts yelling at the fiance, I am in trouble. All right. Do I net? Do I? I know. I know. He is. He's just. He's just being a butthead. Okay. All right. I'm here. Sure. All right. Okay. I got everything I needed. Okay. Okay. So I had to do that. I, what? Oh, we're making. Okay. Press square, X, circle, or triangle when they glow. Okay, uh, to fill up the forge ring. All right, friends, let's see if we can do this. This is the first timer here, when they glow. X, X, X. Got it. Not too bad. Okay, it centers up, it centers up. And I don't really even have to tie. Oh, oh, coming in for the left. And down. Ah, I saw the triangles coming in. Hopefully that gets way harder. I highly doubt it will, but I want it to get... Whoa! The of the dwarves was unequaled. Fashioning objects of great beauty out of diamond, emerald, ruby, and sapphire. That was freaking cool. Yo, I made a key. Look how fancy the dwarves are. Look how bougie. Let's go, we were just talking about keys. We just made a key, but our gold brass key. I am, I am floored by this key. I, if I, if I, if, Yo, if I wanna, if I wanna try, um, yeah, get you out of here. Um, if I wanna try, what is this? Yo, we found a one of ten boxes of tra like scraps. Oh, that's funny, Logan Paul apology. Dude, he smacked Ben Askern. That guy didn't didn't do too hand didn't do too well in that little little skirmish. Um. I will use a guide if I am going for a hundred percent, but I'm just gonna fail my way through here and use our key to open the door. Let's go. Let's go. Please, please. How cool is this? And that key was a one-time use. If you ever want to get through this door, if it's locked. Oh, actually going into like a mines now. Oh, look at it. Look at that, the scale of you, how dare you. You have no right. Air 
Airplane Mode the Movie. Interesting title. Um, okay, I can't get through those without a hammer. No, it, that is an extremely valid point. Oh yeah, that whole thing. I don't know too. Oh, okay. We got a we got a little plot thing. Are we? Are you joining? If we get you, is that a flute? Okay. If I get you a flute, you'll join my team. I am a. Ooh, it's right there. Get him music. He's on the team. He just wants to jam, y'all. Yo, if you can ever get a bard on your team, take that opportunity and get a bard. Morale boosted, recovery boosted, spirit boosted. It is, it is just everything you can do to get a bard on your team. Do it. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you know? I share that. I am a big. Okay. Crush it. And bam. Do you, you want to get it? I, I, um, do you get more Lego if you... Yeah, you get better material probably. If you... Oh, you can get it in one hit. Ah, okay. So I was doing terribly all those times before. Good to note. No, I love movie trivia. The, the fact that there were so many behind-the-scenes featurettes on the Lord of the Rings... Yeah, like the because there's so many Lord of the Rings, uh, you know, trivia and, and uh, information. They changed the game when they cast it. You know, The Hobbit, like I was saying earlier, did get to have all that really awesome casting on uh, you know, superstar level. But Lord of the Rings did such a good job of bringing together these these people. Trivia, that's a great one. That's a great idea. There are, there are, no, Winter, there's a reason why in the city, oh my gosh, in the city of Chicago, try to find me a bar that doesn't have a trivia night in it, or hasn't tried to do trivia night to get people to come in because it's successful. People do like it. People do like trivia night for sure. I've seen it firsthand. Bro, I know. I'm looking at this. I'm seeing that I'm only halfway through the... It's not called True Wizard here. Um, but I'm seeing where I'm at, and I'm like, I... I don't know. Okay. Oh, circle here. Uh, okay, so I was supposed to be gathering materials. So I need... Oh, okay. That's what it says. So I need a True Dwarf. Um, I don't know. I need... Uh, no. I need seven wood. Se I need seven gold. For four gold, I have seven. Completed. Cool. I need wood. Uh, I have 27. You take four. I need rope and, yep, peg. And then I need two of these. Ah, uh, okay, I have figured it out. I was looking at it backwards. Oh, complete the Lego build by finding the correct missing pieces. Find them to cook. Ooh, receive a stud bonus. Yo, what do we gotta do? What do we gotta do? Quick build. What is this? What? Is, what? What? Oh, I have to select the piece. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I see it. I see it. Okay. Okay. Accept. Okay, wheel. Uh, that thing. Little hook. Nope, nope, that one. Nope, that one. That's what I meant. Okay. Quick build, R2. <gasps> okay, uh, yeah. No? Yes. Stick? Yes. Haha, <laughs> stick knows where that one is. And wheel! Yes, okay, okay, okay. This is interesting. Uh, no, I'm not done. Uh, clip? No. Oh, tiny bearing. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, okay. What? What? And we're done. 
Well, okay, we didn't complete it super fast. We got a 7,000 stud bonus. Oh. Nope. Two. Okay, three. Okay, but I want to switch. You come back up here. I want to get these. Oh, yes. One hit, right? Bang. That's what we want. One hit. Bang. Let's go. Yo, it is It is definitely important to get that one hit skill. No. No. The Arkenstone at the heart of the mountain. I wasn't done collecting bits. What are you fools doing? No! But oh no, they got the Ark and Stone. Grown too fierce. No! No, you must temper your love of gold. A sickness had begun to grow within him. And no. where sickness thrives, yes. bad things will follow. Oh, Sir Ian. Sir Ian. The first they heard was a noise like a hurricane. Oh no. Oh no. Stop the alarm. Oh no. What is it? <gasps> Dragon. Dragon! 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 Oh no. He was a they fire won't. drake from the north. A fire drake from the north. A fire drake. The city of men was nothing. Oh no. Oh, they done messed up. Oh no. Oh no. The dragons covered gold with a dark. Oh, they mess up so bad. Why are you smiling? Smog. I can't smell. Benedict Cumberbatch. No. What is this? What is. Nope. Nope. What is this? Hold circle. Uh, use a save statue if you need it. If you need a rest. Okay. Okay. Save and continue. Okay. I got to tell you, that's some perfect timing right there. Because we're just going to mess around a bit. Vroomius Bandersnatch. Have you seen those videos, friends, where um, people will ask their Siri to... Wait. What do you need here? Uh, like, who's the actor? And it's 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 Benedict Bum Bumbersnatch. <laughs> um, use a flail. Okay, so hold triangle. And I have... Wait, can I not see my names? It's not telling me who you are. Okay, but I have a flail. Circle. Hole. And then tap circle to bust the flail. Ah! That's a pretty cool weapon. Sword, 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 dwarf sword. Swording like a dwarf, 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 dwarf. Sword dwarf. Shoo Nice. Okay. Ooh, lots of green pillars. So good. And all of that, all of that was led by the motion capture done by our man. Oh, that sa safe statue is gone now. That safe statue is gone. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to get to another safe statue in time. All right. So, we are going to quit there so we will resume where i saved before i died like that like a doofus no he ping penguin 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 i saw a good picture of tom hiddleston um uh burner snatch for uh Coomberdonch and um uh tom holland all standing around chatting uh at a lord of the or at a um marvel thing and it was, it was a picture of all three of them. <laughs> and somebody said, uh, it said, take a look at them. Not a, not an upper lip amongst them. And they're all standing there with their English, like, cursed lips. Oh, oh, I did know that Christopher Lee was the oldest metal artist. We'll kick on over to the Just Chatting to wrap up. I can't believe we're at the end of our first day of The Hobbit already. Friends, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, actually, yeah, that's, that's really cool. Um, yeah, 
Um, okay, so we know that uh, we are in for an adventure because we have begun reading The Hobbit and despite Bilbo Baggins' best interests and in not wanting to go on an adventure, the Took side of his family blood is going to pull him down that adventure trail. He's not going to be able to resist it. Kaylin, we are. We only get 75 minutes and it goes like that. But we will be back tomorrow morning to continue the adventure. And then tomorrow evening, we'll be doing another uh, round of our Alien Isolation stream. So that is where we are at uh, for the day. I, I can't believe how quick it goes either. It's just, it's just a treat. It really is to hang out with you all, to get a chance to spend some time uh spend some time just uh just chilling and uh i hope everyone has a wonderful monday you're all beautiful people uh who deserve deserve beautiful things beautiful things yes we will be back we will back be back next time but until then everybody make sure you hydrate and then make sure you send a uh, take take a moment today to send a text message to somebody that you love somebody that you know and somebody that you care about and uh, tell them that you love them and that you miss them. And I will see you all tomorrow. And I love you all very much. Thank you. Have a great day. You're all fantastic.